And then you also have a second team too now, correct? Correct. correct. Walk me through that. So if I'm a player and we're talking and you're saying, you know, Corey, you're going to be on our second team. What are the advantages or disadvantages of being on that roster versus the main prep roster? Yeah, so the second team, so well, I can tell you that the, the positives is, you know, we recruit for two teams. And I tell that to all the kids. So we bring in about 25 players, you know, 12 on each team, 12, 13, whatever the case is. And we tell it, you know, but obviously, you know, some kids know that they're going to be on the top team, mm -hmm. you know. But that's how we do it. We just recruit. We say we have two teams and we recruit everybody. And honestly, you know, so we don't have it like, all right, we don't recruit. You're going to be on the second team. You're going to be on the first team. We recruit everybody. And then we don't have like a three-day tryout. Like we, we basically do it all together, the whole preseason together for six weeks. So when they get here Labor Day weekend until October 15th, we do our preseason together. You know, so we get up at six in the morning and we're going down to the track. We're doing agility, applied metrics, conditioning drills. It's all 25 kids. And then, you know, you know, obviously we have different lifting groups. We can't have that many in the gym. Uh, but then we do all the skill work together. And then we play in front of the college coaches in the fall all together. So they basically, the kids have almost six weeks to prove, you know, what team, you know, they should be on, you know. So, um, and, and, and we're very proactive. And I tell the parents, you know, especially the ones that I think definitely going to be on the second team, I'm, I'm honest with them. And I say, listen, we have you know, all these kids coming in, you know, eight really high, you know, high level guards, you, you, your son is going to have a challenges to try, you know, to make this first team. And again, like I said before, I just, I, I'm honest. And again, like, you know, I tell kids and I tell parents, like, this might not be the place for you. You know, we recruit some, some prep schools bring in four or five guys, you know, we bring in 25 guys. So mm -hmm. it, it is my, you know, if you're not, you know, up for the challenge and, you really, really have to be mentally tough to come to Putnam Science Academy because, you know, as you know, and everybody goes through ups and downs. And if you're here, you know, and you could be great in September, October, November, all of a sudden December, you're struggling and your cough, you know, your shots not falling, your confidence going down. If you're not mentally tough enough to get up. You know, you can, you almost can get buried here. We just kind of take the next guy, you know, and we tell parents that. So this is, you really got to be mentally tough and understand where, you know, where you're coming to and what we do and how many guys we bring in. So, um, but it, you know, that, that second team is still pretty good. You know, I mean, like we do the best we can, unfortunately we can't get them into, you know, hoop hall and some of the bigger tournaments, unfortunately, but we try to get them in the exposure events in new England that are good. You know, there's like the zero gravities and the basketball events and, you know, they'll play close to 30 games. I would say probably 80, 90% of them are still college rules. They play 40 minute games and, um, and again, our big selling point is at the end of the day, you're playing in front of all these coaches for six weeks in the fall, you know, and, and we're lucky where we'll, you know, minus COVID year, you know, we could have 50 to 100 different college programs in our gym per week, you know, so, um, so there's still a lot of advantages, you know, you know, but I can tell you who has the toughest job in our school is the head coach of that second team, <laughs> because, you know, he's got to, he's got to deal with these kids where some kids still think they should be on the top team, you know, so um but it's good i mean at the end of the day you want to be on the top team and you know we do provide as much as we can for that second team um but uh but you know you can't please everyone either yeah two questions on that follow-up do, do your second team do you place those guys yeah yeah we do, so, i think we do a pretty good job you know i mean like this year we'll have a couple low i mean a uh, young uh, division one players on that team you know in a couple of years there will be a, one's a freshman like a seven footer one's gonna be a six ten sophomore so he, they'll probably be on that second team and then i think the last two or three years we've had i think two division two kids on on each each year you know and then a handful of division three players so you know this this close to i would say i would say an average seven eight nine guys go on and play college basketball division two or division three 